Thank you, Federico. Um, uh, next up, we have Giacomo Zorzi, who was with um, the ICEC, which is the Institute of Quality Certification for the Leather Sector. Um, and he's been uh, in this industry for a long time uh, and uh, is a real expert. And he's going to talk um, about the tools to communicate, the trans to com communicate transparency within your supply chain if you're a manufacturer or a brand and so on. So. Good evening, I'm Giacomo Zorzi, and just starting from a message of my colleague, my friend Federico, regarding an increasing market of auditors, I am an auditor. So I try to introduce you and present who is ICHEC and what ICHEC is able to do for uh, the industrial uh, for, for the leather industry and the tanneries. ICHEC is, an, is an, a certification body which is accredited by Acredia and has, work, has been working for a long time, since 20 years, only in leather sector, reaching a very high level of specialization. And um, as an authority for certification, standardization, and information, has uh, has become an important reference for the leather industry. And our goal is to uh, help companies to reach a correct management and way to communicate their sustainability. Sustainability has never been just self-declared, but has to be measured, verified, and then always uh, certified. Accreditation is a key word in this message for you. And uh, accreditation is an attestation of impartiality, correctiveness, independence, and competence. And through uh, an, an, a complete organization of the whole um, certification bodies and um, accreditation board in all the world, every uh, certificate in every country is valid in every other country. ECEC is accredited by uh, Acredia. Acredia is member of an organization called EI and European Accreditation, this is the meaning, European Accreditation Infrastructures and uh, to allow results of conformities uh, uh, assessment services uh, in one country to be accepted in any other country uh, without further controls without further audit audits. You have heard what sustainability is and you have heard uh, who are the main actors involved in sustainability, starting from tenneries to the clients and to the end consumer, uh, because there is an increasing, um, an increasing sector of consumer interested in uh, sustainable products, because it is an opportunity for business. It is a great opportunity to manage the risk associated to, uh, all, uh, to all the processes. And it is also an opportunity for marketing and to promote uh, everyone's own image. Um, and it is also an opportunity, especially for, um, for terrorists, to guarantee their customers, how we can try to uh, exemplificate sustainability in just a, an, in a different way um, from what Federico has described to you, just thinking about three main areas, which is the economic, the social, and the environmental one. In these three areas, we can have examples of the main um, certification schemes and certification opportunities for uh, all the actors in the supply chain. But how can sustainability be guaranteed? First and, and foremost, through the respection of the laws. A basic level of sustainability, sustainability is given when someone decides, for example, to buy or to produce in a country where there are strict laws, controlled laws, and enforced laws by the public authorities. ICHEC certification always start from always presuppose verification of adjustment on applicable legislation. This is obviously for every certification body, but on my experience 
in Italy. My office is in Veneto, in the north of Italy, where exists the largest of the four Italian uh, leather districts. Uh, relations and controls between tenneries and local authorities are very strict and repeated. This is really. And this is important to verify uh, what we technically call non-conformities, for example, mistakes or uncon uncorrected actions, and to correct them and to manage a continuous improvement. Certification is, could be, a uh, an opportunity as a complementary way to communicate in a better way uh, everyone's own uh, sustainability. Regarding the environmental sustainability, we have in leather sector, in tanneries especially, uh, many uh, important impacts on the environment uh, regarding consumption of resources, uh, regarding production, production of wastes, regarding uh, water and a treatment. And for all of this, this is just a few examples. For all of this, uh, exist different certification schemes that can be used to manage correctly and to communicate correctly everyone's processes. Uh, I just give to you, uh, I just remember for you, uh, two standards for management systems, which are ISO uh, 14001 and uh, uh, MS3, based on a European regulation, which are the two very best known standards for certification. Uh, but these are just two examples. For me, much more interesting, uh, the product certification. Two examples are Ecopelle and IPD. Uh, these are two standards quite different. In the first case, you have minimum requirements to reach about that particular product. And if you, uh, if you reach the minimum standards, you can have the logo, you can have the certification. But in the second way, in the, in the second case, on the IPD based on a, a environmental declaration, uh, there are no minimum standards to reach you have just to follow the procedures to calculate your environment, the environmental impact associated to your product, for example, a square meter of, uh, of high, of finished leather, and the market will make the comparison between two different, pro two, two different products. About social sustainability, um, protection of worker rights, industrial relations, health and safety on the workplace, and relation with the community are just few examples of what we could, uh, w what we have to do to be completely sustainable. And there are standards also to uh, manage correctly and communicate those processes. OHSAS uh, 18001 and uh, the SA8000 social accountability are other two very best known standards, but I want to remember you that in Italy, the UNICH, the local association of tanneries, has defined a document very interesting, which is the UNICH Code of Contact and Social Accountability. And this is uh, interesting because uh, uh, it's it has been designed exactly for tanning industry, and it requires compliance with the local legislation, starting from the National Collective Labor, Co Labor Contract. And in this contract, for example, sustainability, sustainability becomes a parameter to apply a word to goal. Economic sustainability, for me, much more interesting. Uh, there are uh, some topics of increasing interest in the market, and these are about traceability, animal welfare, origin of production, and leather production safety. Uh, especially about traceability, uh, there are a large number of companies all around the world that are um, asking to better understand each of standards. Uh, we have standards to verify every different flow you want to trace starting from the hide and skin to the finished leather to the end of the tannery processes, traceability of the production of final goods within the market, the, the manufacturing industry, and within the point of sale. 
traceability of our hide and skin, this is about the capability to trace the uh, origin and the location of every single slaughterhouse and location of breeding. Uh, this is a certificate based on a rating number, and the much a tannery is able to be accurate on identifying every single location of slaughterhouses and of breedings, the much higher is the rating number associated to that certificate. But this is a very complex topic because very often it happens that tanneries do not have all the information. It's impossible often to have the information to individuate correctly the single location of breeding or the single location of slaughterhouse. So reach 100% in this rating number is very difficult, but in some cases could be possible. Uh, this is interesting because the goal for the brands uh, may be ensuring, for example, animal welfare, as I talked before, uh, or avoiding areas with critical aspects, social, political, or environmental aspects. Um, we have different standards within the tannery and the manufacturing and the industries. And this introduces us to the following uh, aspect, the, which is the, uh, the origin of production, what we generally call made in. European uh, voluntary standard establishing rules of origin where current legislation uh, remains not sufficient. So we designed a standard for this, uh, for this goal. Certification standard and procedures have been created for the verification of the origin of the production for leather and for leather goods. But uh, we need objective standards to, uh, to determine the origin and we, wanna, we can't use the customs rule of origin. I hope my English is enough. It's okay? Okay, perfect. <laughs> Sometimes I think that. In made in certification about finished leather, what determines the origin of a finished leather is the last substantial transformation according to the customs rules. And the last substantial transformation is uh, returning, fat liquoring, and dyeing. And if this phase is conducted in Italy, we have to consider that this is a leather from Italy, for example, but uh, this is uh, the same for any other, any other country. For final goods, we can declare the made-in of production, for example, 100% made in Italy, means that all the phases from the design to the production are conducted in Italy. And if you imagine a bag, for example, which is certified as material design production and is made with leather from Italy, this is the maximum of transparency you can give to your client. And transparency is one uh, key word in this message. About chemicals and leather production safety and consumer protection. Uh, in Europe, these two aspects are guaranteed generally through the respect of uh, the REACH regulation. You know, re REACH regulation is an European standard, standard about chemicals. And according to REACH rules, there is a UNICH guideline. UNICH uh, means that is defined, it has been uh, designed by the uh, National Association uh, for the user, usage of chemicals to produce Finish it leather. And this guideline defines parameters, methods of analysis, analysis, and threshold. This, uh, these three points are very uh, difficult in some cases to, uh, to understand correctly. And for this guideline, ICHEC has a specific certification. So to guarantee that the main legislation about usage of chemical is respected with the maximum of, um, of efficiency. Recently, ECHEC has become a member of uh, ZDHC. The issue of monitoring chemicals is in constantly evolving, and many brands have drawn up 
extra protocols concern, pardon, my fingers move. Uh, uh, many brands have drawn up extra protocols concerning the presence of chemical substances in finished leather uh, with more extra limits in many cases than those imposed by Rich. Um, and many brands are working with ZDHE and also ICHEG is now part of this organization to provide its contribution. The final message could be this one. We are imagining something like a sustainability free pass. The new idea is to enable reversal from command and control to an efficient transparency based on trust. If an organization is able to give all the uh, guarantees, all the possible guarantees to the client and to the chain and to the supply, to hold the supply chain, this could be enough. Just as a, a, uh, just as a free pass. Minimizing the risk is a feasible way for achieving an efficient management of the supply chain. And the market is ready now on our opinion to comprehend an evolution of sustainability uh, based on a strong and widespread commitment on all these aspects. We can rely on tested and shared instruments that if correctly applied, give a high guarantee in respect of the principles of sustainability. Uh, many important actors uh, of the um, supply chain, also exposing here today, have already internalized those principles. And this uh, allows us to imagine that this vision can become a reality. What ICHEC can do, uh, ICHEC has the experience to guide and assist companies in this new process. Through the use of consolidated instruments and through the development of innovative standards that are originated from significant ideas that manage and control the risk of the leather industry. Thank you very much for your attention. Sorry for my English. If you have any question, I'm here for you.